Call me. On the line. You call me. Call me anytime. You just call me. I'll arrive. But you could call me. Yeah, any day or night. But you just gotta call me. You know you want to, baby. Nobody can resist me. No. What you? And welcome to the Oddity Archive, the show that, metaphorically, allows you to reach out and touch someone for the low, low price of $5 for the first minute. And then it's another $1.99 for each subsequent minute. But uh, hey, we all got to eat. Uh, anyway, uh, in case you didn't get my not so subtle hint there, it's time for our much belated second helping of 1-900 number goodness. And indeed, I wasn't even going to do a second volume of 1900 Archive, but thanks to your demand, yes, you specifically, uh, here we are. And you say I don't listen. This, what did you hear when you dialed 1 900 909 1212? I failed to give much of a history lesson in the last installment of 1900 Archive. Thing was, straight info on the overall concept of premium rate phone numbers was kinda hard to come by. And it still is. Nonetheless, here's a basic, probably inaccurate timeline of what I've been able to piece together. Initially, the supposed area code 900, or 900, was established at the beginning of 1971 and was to be used by officials as a means of bypassing potentially high long-distance phone traffic, if you will. The first significant use of a 900 number that I've been able to scrape together was in March of 1977 and was for use on a nationwide CBS radio talk show featuring special guest President Jimmy Carter, because, you know, everyone expected Carter to get a lot of calls. There were no special fees to call the president, but standard long-distance phone rates still applied. Now, somewhere down the line, after the rise of the sex line, the FCC forced phone companies to provide the option to all customers to block all 900 number calls to and from their numbers. Unsurprisingly, many businesses opted out of 900 number use, and most individuals did not. Do you want to meet new people? Call 976 Party. I haven't been able to find much aside from some anecdotal information on the 976 prefix. Apparently it began as a standard prefix in some areas, like New York City. The earliest commercial use of the 976 prefix that I've been able to find, in a national 900 use no less, was around 1980 by way of the old Bell telephone system as a means for people to look up sports scores at a cost of 50 cents, plus tax, per call. Supposedly, again, no confirmation, in 1987, a young child in California managed to rack up some $17,000 in phone charges by calling local 976 numbers. This led to a law being established that commercials for 976 lines could no longer be aired before 10 p.m. for fear of children getting duped into making these calls. I've also read, again, anecdotal, that DTMF tones you know, the beeping sounds that a standard push-button phone makes, were played in some ads so that you could simply hold your receiver up to the TV and the number would be dialed for you. Though I have personally found no commercials that explicitly feature this. With regards to toll calls of all stripes, as mentioned in the last 1900 episode, these numbers hit their peak in the late 80s and early 90s. After that time, probably due to the very slow rise of the internet, the tonnage of 900 and 976 numbers slowly dwindled. Both 900 and 976 numbers still exist today, but are fairly rare. Of course, this would have to be our first episode after the holidays, and I'm sure anybody watching this in the first half of the year, any year, is probably still a little burned out. And that's why I would now like to present to you a nice selection of Santa Claus line ads. Because I'm such a sweetheart. 
Santa's hotline. This is the Lincoln Park Collection Agency. A little boy can call me at this number from now till Christmas. Uh, and that's nice. You owe us $2,500 for tow and impound fees. Will that be cash or money order? Supply outside 416. Adult permission needed. Ho, 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 this is Santa Claus. Or more accurately, the voice from inside your head. Boy, special treats this year. Mrs. Claus and our elf and reindeer friends will be telling you stories on 9763333. Like how punishment is absolute. And your family. <laughs> Hi, kids. This is Mrs. Claus at the North Pole. Santa had to go away on a little business trip. He's so busy right now. Bye for now. Children, check with your parents before calling. Santa here. Call 1-900-660-6666. Damn, one more six and he'd have had a perfect score. But before you call, listen to old Santa. Your parents have to pay for these calls, so get their permission first. Preferably when they're asleep. I'll tell you how to get a whoopee from my Christmas collection. Sorry, we left him out in the car a little too long. It's Olympics, so call me at 1-900. Shouldn't he be getting a bit seasick about now? Merry Christmas! <laughs> The big ones go in the red boxes, and the little ones go in the green boxes. Got that? Yes, Santa! <laughs> Don't forget to feed my reindeer. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, boys and girls. <whistles> Getting ready for Christmas sure is hard work. But now that I have a moment to spare, I set up my special Christmas phone just for you. So get your parents' permission. That way it's consensual. Nine zero zero. Nine zero nine four three. The pace at which his phone call will go, apparently. We're all about Santa's wonderful, magical Christmas time. Conveniently, also the name of the porno being filmed on this very set later that day. At one nine zero zero nine zero nine four three zero zero to hear Santa's magical Christmas message and find out how you can get a real letter from Santa Claus and a special present too. Two dollars. Why do I sense these were the same people behind the Happy Hamster Kid Picks Club? In the past, we've looked at ads for video game tip lines and lines for kids and celebrity lines and of course adult lines and so on and so forth. But one thing we've never really looked at are those lines that were made by people that were just clearly jumping on the bandwagon. And so what I've got here in this next batch of clips are ones that were made by those sorts of people. And I think you'll notice that, especially in the later ads, they were kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel in search of a gimmick. So I like to call these, what's the point ads. Do you need a car? Listen, each year government agencies auction, sell, and liquidate thousands of cars and trucks, and the bidding starts as low as $30. Government vehicles, luxury cars taken from drug dealers. Still with the contraband inside. Think of it as a bonus. Now find out how you can grab the car you want at government liquidation and bankruptcy prices. Bid as low as $30. Ah, but who are we kidding? Ferraris, Corvettes, family cars, and trucks. Find out how to get the car you want now. Call 1-900-HOT-AUTO. Get it? Because these cars are stolen. <laughs> I crack myself up. I'm here to tell you about Miss... Zippy? That you? I hate their promos, don't you? So if you'd like to hear more about my new show, Mr. Smith... Uh, call me at one nine... Yes, this really was a show on NBC. Lasted half a season. Right. I think people are really going to call? I think you just answered your own question there. If I arrive late for an appointment, it could cost me a valuable client. But I found the way to always be on time. I live with all my clients. 976-WAKE on any touchtone phone, and they call me back when I need it. I get a timely reminder or wake-up call. Because those damn alarm clocks are just so confusing. Automatically listed on my monthly phone bill. In my business, people are measured by their punctuality. So I call 976-WAKE, the new sound of time. There it is now. Here it is, the UFO hotline. Your phone number to the biggest cover-up ever. Talk to real aliens over the phone. Tell them your innermost desires. Arrange with them to be taken away in the next rapture. This may be the most shocking phone call you'll ever make. 
Here, up to the minute UFO sightings and extraterrestrial contacts. Call 1 900 909 UFOs. Are extraterrestrial visitors real? Do they all look like turds with eyes? Call now. Another type of 900 number ad that we've never really looked at is for, for lack of a better term, gaming, as in contests and stuff. She drank the poison that Captain Hook intended for Peter Pan. Tinkerbell! Fuck them. Sadly, none of these ads are going to be any funnier than that. It's new, it's hot, it's fun. I like Loretta Lynn and Conway Twitty as much as the next guy, but hot, fun, it's a bit of a stretch. Choose your favorite music. If that was you too, press one. Bon Jovi, press two. Bands Benny Boy Hates, press three. For two with Champagne Limo, two night hotel stay, dinner. Champagne Limo? A limo that runs on champagne? Don't you worry about hiccups? Call now, $2 plus toll if any. Hi, I'm Monty Hall. Remember all the fun we had playing Let's Make a Deal on TV? Oh, Monty, Monty, Monty. I am walking down your hall. 04332. Choose the right door and you can win great prizes. So the phone calls for this must have been really short. Hotel in Las Vegas. But be careful. Choose the wrong door and... So call now, 1-900-860-4332. It's fun, it's exciting, you can win with every call, and you don't even have to dress up like a chicken. Though you might have a better chance of winning if you do. dollar each additional minute. Hi, I'm Robert Wolf, and I won $1,000 on my first call. Added up winners have already won thousands of dollars. Now you can be a winner, too. Call this number on a touchtone phone. 420, because they want you to be good and stoned when you call, hedging their bets, you know. $100 instantly. At 21 plus 14. Uh, let's see, carry the... Oh, I won $300! Damn it! Prize $1,000. Call 1-900-420-ADDIT. $3.99 per minute, average call 5 minutes. And math majors across America found an easy source of beer money. What American city is known as the Big Easy, according to the hit film of the same name? Tuscaloosa! Miami, Houston, Atlanta. Call Winners, the 24-hour telephone trivia game for fun and prizes. one 9765 Let me guess. Correct answers are entered for a drawing, right? Local man theater. Win a compact disc player. Win a sporty Chevy Sprint imported for Chevrolet. <laughs> imported? Blew his own mind there. A thousand. Seventy-nine cents a minute plus toll if any. New Orleans. Orleans. You've been hanging upside down too long. Is Elvis alive? Judge for yourself by calling the 900 number on your television screen. Hear what could be the incredible Elvis phone call. Listen to the newest and longest recording ever, just released from the original taped conversation purportedly of Elvis recorded about four years after the 16th of August, 1977. Call 1-900-909-ELVIS. Call now. Experience what may be the most shocking story of our time. It's been scientifically proven by me that whenever I go too far off the beaten path, my ratings hit the skids. So with that in mind, let's go back into nice, comfy, warm, fuzzy, friendly, nostalgic territory here with a batch of ads for psychic hotlines. Now, I'm kind of defeating my own commercial purposes here, how about that, by avoiding stuff like the Psychic Friends Network and Miss Cleo. I mean, we've, we've already done that stuff anyway. So what I've done here is I've dug a little deeper and I've picked out some decidedly more obscure ads for Psychic Hotlines, uh, which even led me briefly into Canadian territory. I've been expecting you. But you knew that. The voices from ancient Egypt call out. Are you ready? The lovers. You will soon fall madly in love. I think I just did. Two of cups. You will have luck beyond your wildest dreams. I know. I just met you, babe. A card of adventure. The world is yours. Call the tarot about love, success, money. He is so right. I just successfully fell in love and spent money for the privilege. 
damn, they're good. Your future is about to be revealed. Call I don't want to know. There's something else you've been holding back from him. The Ace of Cups. Now it all makes sense. Lydia, you're pregnant, aren't you? And he doesn't What? Know. I thought the Ace of Cups meant luck, not science. We were so happy at first. Whoa, did she used to be the bassist for the Bangles? Very good. Tracy, I hate to be blunt, but he's seeing someone else. What? You can actually see that? No, I'm just trolling you. This job is more important than me. Barbara, you didn't feel that way when your husband was away a few months ago, did you? What do you mean? The Six of Swords shows a journey cross country. And when he was away, you were the one having an affair. Damn, I'm good. Yeah, I'm here. How close am I? Too close. Find out what secrets our tarot masters have to tell you. Call now. As low as $1.99 a minute? What, do they take insurance or something? She was only five. JoJo predicted her brother's death. Well, I hope you told him first. Her own. At age 20, a horrible auto accident nearly took her life and left her with the gift of heightened psychic powers. And a Dolly Parton fixation. Maybe it was just a concussion. Whoa. My psychics can show you how you can tap into your inner self. My psychics? I want to talk to you. Don't wait. Call us right now. Unfortunately, JoJo did dig those spinning lights, weigh out games, and dizzy heights below her, and blew all her money on wigs. One-on-one, -on -one, personal, private, and confidential. My gifted psychics are waiting for your call. To but I want to talk to you. Seven days a week, so pick up that phone and call us right now. As your gift for calling, ask for JoJo's 1995 Astral Guide Calendar. Good God, is she detachable below the shoulders? Talking to one of her psychics. Four ninety nine per minute, adults only. Jojo has left the astral plane. Hello, is this one nine seven six psych? You only dialed three digits, you twit. Of course it's not. I was in the dark until I called one nine seven six psych. Now I know my past, present, and my future. It was a really short call. A 1976 site. Unique conversations. I don't doubt it. Okay, enough figurative screwing around. I know the real reason why the original 1900 archive was such an early favorite. I mean, it's because the pervy stuff. I'm hip. Uh, anyway, I, I, of course, dutifully went dumpster diving for some more adult ads, and believe me, I do have some lined up for you here, but I'm getting ahead of myself. When dumpster diving for some more adult ads, I found something that mostly slipped past me the first time around, and so with that, I'd like to present to you a small sampling, uh, literally small, only three ads, of uh, fetish lines. Uh, granted, mostly unintentional fetish lines, but, uh, you know, uh, consider it a small appetizer for the real sexy stuff. Unleash yourself in the mind maze. Free your imagination. I hope they know their lack of specificity just doomed them to fetish line status. Drift into another world where everything is what you make it. I don't need a fantasy. This ad knew I had a thing for bad early 80s European music videos. Where it's all... Well, black light on her forehead? Bad idea. 100-933-9283. Adults 18 and over only. $5 per minute. And if your imagination is that good, you shouldn't have to pay anything. The gorgeous ladies of wrestling are now on the telephone. And we don't want just any wits calling us. But that's what you're going to get. You don't know men very well, do you? You want to hear from real men, capable men. Submissive men. Call the gals of glow. Okay, you guys out there, let's hear from you now. Dial 1-900-660-GALS for glow. $1.50 for the first minute, 35 cents each additional minute. Shouldn't eight seconds be enough? Oh, now here's one for the truly sick puppy. What makes people all over America break down and cry like this? 
the fact that someone put super glue on their receivers? Nine nine cry and hear it for yourself. Two dollars for the first minute, 45 cents each additional minute. If you're under 18, ask your parents before you call. Wait, wait, wait. this was supposed to be a proto emo line? Nine nine cry. And lazy bluesmen everywhere were able to get some easy songwriting fodder. Well, guys, emphasis on guys, you good and hot yet? You rough and ready? Well, I sure hope you are, because I think I've really outdone myself here. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, again, emphasis on the latter, here are the steamiest ads in the history of the archive. Would I lie to you? Don't just think about a fantasy tonight. Pick up the phone and call the fantasy girls. We never let you down. You'll always get a different girl and fantasy every time you call. I just made my 73rd call and heard a fantasy I'd already heard. I want my money back! Strictly confidential. Let us make your dream come true tonight. Call Is it wrong I've given up on the visuals and I'm thinking about how the music sounds like the intro to a certain Dire Straits song? What turns women on? Um, infrared lighting? Most incredible feeling. Hey, wait a minute. That's the same number as the Santa Claus line from earlier. For men only. What turns women on will turn you on. What Santa's elves do the other 11 months out of the year? 6666. One dollar per minute, five dollars for the first minute. Uh, Mom, Santa Claus sounds like he can't breathe. Should I call 911? I like men. All kinds of men. And jelly beans. Just tell me and call me. 1-900-346-2000. Look at my script. I'm waiting. I'm desperate. Recordings or referrals, just interesting women who want to meet you. If you're 18 or older, you can meet someone new for only $2.99 per minute. Call now. Selective introductions to the beautiful people. Unlike me. Their private phone numbers are waiting for you. Have a thing for robot girls? Call 1-900- Damn, she's kind of butch. 5,000 for those private oh. Did she just tongue a light socket? All adults only for selective introduction. Vince Gill, what are you doing here? And those private phone numbers call. Man, Connie Chung really likes to go slumming, doesn't she? Thousand. Do it now. Oh, all right. Just let me find my hooker wig first. Hi, that was my girlfriend, Tasha. She's telling her about this guy you called me the other night. <laughs> we were on that phone line. You have fun phone line? How to cover up for her reading cue cards. Be a joke, you know? I just can't stop laughing. Call 976-0300 to talk or just listen. You tell me this ad was from Philly. Could have fooled me. We talked about everything. <laughs> I had so much fun. Hey, lady, can I have my waiting room back? I got patience here. They call the feeling. Debbie, the your hair's on fire. Too much hairspray, Debbie. Too much hairspray. Damn it! When are these girls gonna learn? 250-8888. Is it real? Or is it fantasy? I don't know. Anyone got a Geiger counter? Oh, oh, I am gonna sleep on the couch for the next decade for that one, aren't I? Expect the unexpected. And there goes my career. Sex is clean! Oh, what? No, 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 no. I think everybody gets the joke. Anyway, that's it for today's archive. Join me next time when various major feminist groups force me to ponder why I didn't show any ads in today's show that blatantly objectified men, which will take me all of five seconds to come to my conclusion.
For X-rated information, call 1-976-1515, 24 hours. That's one nine seven six.